All right, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. Let's go ahead and talk about what's happening in the tropics. And all this week I've been highlighting the Central Pacific and the Eastern Pacific because we basically have a train of tropical systems trying to get going. And of course, a few days ago, we had a major hurricane to the south of the Hawaiian Islands. That was Hurricane Iona. It did run into some cooler water and also some stronger, what we call vertical wind shear, which kind of helps to rip it apart in the upper level. So it's no longer a major hurricane. It's no longer even a hurricane. And it is now off to the west southwest of the Hawaiian Island. So it's that big, massive showers and storms circulating around that area of low pressure that you see there. So it is still a tropical storm, but it is rapidly weakening down to 50 miles per hour at this point. And it is quickly racing to the west northwest around 22 miles per hour. So it is likely going to remain a tropical storm for another day or two, but eventually it's going to lose those tropical characteristics as that water remains on the cooler side and it's going to be harder for it to survive. And also yesterday we had Kelly, which was a fairly weak, minimal tropical storm, but that one also ran into some issues. It was very close to Iona, so it kind of got absorbed and just turned into an open trough. So it's nothing tropical anymore. Now, looking at the Eastern Pacific, we definitely have a lot going on here. We've got a couple of disturbances that we're monitoring, and we also have a tropical storm, a tropical storm Gill now churning in the Eastern Pacific and another area to watch that's gonna be closer to southwestern Mexico and Central America. So you can see as we put our GFS futurecast into motion that we've got a lot of action potential and you can see that big swirl there. But these systems of course are moving away from the US and we're not expecting any major action across the Atlantic Basin at least for the next five to seven days. So looking at our Fox weather model as we jump to the other side, that was the Pacific. Now we're talking about the Atlantic. There are some tropical waves that have been coming off the west coast of Africa and another one that likely will emerge over the next day or two, but as they try to push west, they keep running into drier air with that thicker Saharan dust that remains across much of the Atlantic and even parts of the Caribbean and the Gulf. So really through this weekend into early next week, not really seeing a high potential for tropical development here. There's a disturbance, there's gonna be a front and the potential for an area of low pressure to spin along that front right off of the southeastern U.S. coast, but at this point, the models aren't really making that very strong. So for now, we're still thinking no tropical activity expected for the next seven days in the Atlantic Basin. Of course, we've had three tropical storms so far for this season, zero hurricanes, zero major hurricanes. CSU, Colorado State University, did predict 16 named storms, eight of those becoming hurricanes and three becoming major hurricanes for this season. So kind of off to a slow start. We're about to jump into August tomorrow and typically by the second to third week of August, at least historically, that's when things usually start to ramp up. So just because there's a lull now and things are quiet, don't let your guard down because we could go from zero to 100 very quickly with no tropical systems to quite a few tropical systems. So we've had tropical storms, Andrea, Barry, and Chantal so far for this season. Of course, Andrea didn't impact the U.S. Barry hit parts of Mexico, and then Chantal made landfall 4th of July weekend right around the Carolinas. So we haven't had any catastrophic system yet, but overall, we do still have that potential. Next name on the list would be Dexter, and then we're going down to Aaron, Fernan, Gabrielle, all the way down potentially to Wendy, but we're hoping we don't have to use all of these names because that would mean an extremely busy remainder of the season. We're thinking things could still get active because we do still have super warm water temps out there in the middle to upper 80s for much of the Gulf, Western Atlantic, the Caribbean. So that really helps to fuel these potential tropical systems. However, that Saharan dust that I've been telling you about has been kind of fighting against these systems developing because that dusty air is very dry. And as the tropical storms and hurricanes try to develop, they run into this dry air and 
they just struggle. So we've still got some pretty thick Saharan dust that will stick around the Atlantic Basin at least for another week to week and a half. Notice the waves of dust coming off the coast of Africa and it travels thousands of miles and it's kind of doing us a favor. It's limiting tropical development for now, but of course that could certainly change, especially by the middle of August. So that is kind of when we are expecting the tropical waves that come off of the west coast of Africa to kind of get their act together and start to possibly turn into something a little bit more. So we've been monitoring things very closely. And of course, even though things are quiet across the Atlantic Basin now, the minute we start to see some trouble, of course, we do these updates daily and we will let you know exactly what's going on.